Coming up on today's Midweek Madness AFL Today show, I break down my beloved, awesome pitch for footy dads. But also, we've got Yeah Nas, we're talking about the MRO, we're talking about the NGA, we could probably talk about the NGV as well. <laughs> How about the CSIRO? Who knows? We love acronyms. Alex, what's your favourite part from today's show? Probably trying to retire a few players from Adelaide. Not Ooh. bad. We also have a big chat with Simeon Thomas Wilson. Stats boy, what do you like? Uh, just Nick Dacos getting pity votes. What is, what is going on there, AFR Brown, the predictor? Come on. We are talking about the Brown, though, the Coleman, but we have a big chat about the Crows and the power with the Tizers, Simeon Thomas Wilson as well. It is all in a chockers AFL Today show. Footy Dad's rules. Check it out right now. Uh, let's finish off the way we finish up every Wednesday show with the Coleman and the Brownlow tracker updates. Uh, the Brownlow is looking very interesting. Stats Boy's got some vibes here. He doesn't like the AFL.com.au one. No, I think you guys will agree, agree with me on this one. The AFL one literally gave three votes to Nick Dacos. So on I'm, Friday night. On Friday night where I didn't even think he was in the top five Are best they? players. That is an absolute joke. The predictor is usually very accurate, as we've talked about even last year. So that, I think all the other votes have been pretty accurate this year, but they literally gave three he votes to Nick Dacos. He was not in the Dacos. top five players on the ground. No. He, he might was horrible. possibly on some sites sneak of one vote, but he wasn't, I don't think he, he went was. He went at like there. 20% efficiency yeah. and they got belted. Yeah. So I got no idea what the AFL are doing there. Maybe so people just chuck a few more bets on. I'm, I'm not sure what, the, what they're thinking Whoa, about that one. that's boy. I shouldn't, out I shouldn't, all conspiracy <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't say that. But Jeez. yeah, I'm, I'm not trusting. Sit Shams training. <laughs> Shams, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Bit of worries over here. Oh yeah, look, this guy's <laughs> slipping in the draft. Put your bets on him going higher. Nah, I'm like, joking. What are we doing? But. I'd be yeah, steering clear of the AFL side at the moment because yeah. that well, is a joke. did come second in the best on ground for the uh, actual match report, so I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, nah. but it's probably the same people. Watching the game, he was not no. in. Anyway, that's, at the yeah, moment, that's though, the your Brownlow yeah. leaderboard, Cripps, Heaney. Well, Heaney doesn't count, so. Dunsky's now. Yep. Dacos, Bond, Lockie, Neal. I think, I think it's out of Cripps. Neil and Dacos. There was someone who had 41 touches on the weekend well, that is going I've, to fly I've home. got money on him from the start of the season. So, Woe yeah. Errol is currently sitting in this tracker at about eighth, which feels about right. The AFL one is fourth. Home, so, yeah. So, Whereas yeah, last yeah. year, he from this point on, he had, the mo I think, he had like 20 votes in the last eight weeks. So, so 26 P Crips. Well, that's a big number. What does it get on the AFL tracker there? Stats Same, there? yeah. I think 26. Jeez, that's a big number. 25, sorry. 25. 25. So, yeah. They've given him two in a losing effort last week, which seemed fair because he was everywhere. And no Might one get them. one. They I gave reckon. him three on the uh, AFL one as yeah, well. Yeah, split the difference, mm. 1.5. Yeah. Is that? That works. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, outside of this, I think you're right, Alex, with the Errol Gordon run home, mm. and I'd probably be looking at him. That's my vibe. Do you think – Crips? He Look, I, just, I still think Crips <laughs> but runs, they it, said runs, it last runs year. away with it, but, I mean, yeah. Gordon's probably the best price, like, sort of outsider at this point. Yeah, and – Nara Anderson also would have picked up three again on the weekend. But yeah. how many more games does he play at home? Yeah, he only goes by home, yeah. Yeah, but they're still, he might still pick up one and twos here and there. Like, I reckon he might have got three against uh, North Melbourne. Uh, losing effort. Yeah, or well, not three, but definitely two yeah, or one or, or two. One yeah. or two, I reckon, yeah. But so there's games like he's the one that's everyone sort of – because, like, you just – Make you, it late, yeah. You think it's, oh, it's Gold Coast. Who People cares? don't think about him as much. But it's yeah. Nara Anderson. It's also because I bet you if Nara Anderson walked in this room right now, everyone would be like – is that dude? Uh, no. You might think Yeah, that. I was going to say, I know exactly what he looks yeah. like. My That's beloved it. Noah Anderson. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding? Also, a very tall guy, like, in the Suns uniform. We know who he is. Ready to punch No, no, but if he just walked <laughs> up, in, if he walked in a t-shirt and jeans, you'd be yeah. like, who's the new tech? No, <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Lockie Neal, three-time Brownlow winner. It would be a ridiculous That's disgusting. outcome, wouldn't it? I think this year he's been better than, obviously, last year. He shouldn't have won it last year. But he, he shouldn't have three Brownlows. That's a joke. an incredible purple it's not. If you win three Brownlows, that just shows how good you are over seasons. It's not lucky. Oh, that COVID year, he won by a hundred. He was so no, far away. No, I agree. That one. Best I think he, if he wins this year, he yeah, should have last two. Last year was a joke. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Coleman, let's do it. The Coleman, my beloved Charlie Kerno, should be another seven goals in front, but he is I not. Know. He's on forty nine. We have Ben King at forty five. Jesse Hogan forty five. My beloved Big Harry Mackay, son of Michael Voss, apparently forty two. And the J Train, Jackie Waterman on forty one. Can Oscar Allen win it from here is my question. <laughs> Oscar Allen, we've got his no. bobblehead over there. Uh, no, definitely not. That sucks. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Doubtful. I really love a bit of Oscar Allen though. The fact that Oscar Allen kicked three last week was very nice. But mm. J-Train, Oscar Allen, eh, I would, like if Oscar was out for the season, I'd still love a bit of Jackie Waterman just for a sneaky nah, like run home. He's got to kick 10 he in one game. 10 in a game <laughs> no, and he, it's all over. That's not Charlie could also do that because I think they play North and still have a game against West Coast yes, in the bag. So yes. I still think Charlie... It's Charlie's to lose, yeah. I think he bounces back from the three goals seven uh, last week and has a big game probably against North. And I think uh, 
a couple of other big ones in the run home. I think Jesse Hogan is going to make a late charge as well because well, he's got five, four last two weeks. Before that, he was horrible. I said for like that two last months. week that you he that, has yeah. a couple of good games where yeah. he can kick some so, goals coming in. He's, he's got Gold Coast away from home this week. Mm -hmm. I think there's a game against Essendon thrown in there. Like their run home is against like teams that they they need to beat to get in finals as well. The eight point game, Jim. Yeah, the eight point so game. So he needs to kick goals. For them to get eight point he's game. gonna he's gonna pass Ben King in the uh, call I reckon, next yeah, couple of weeks. Yeah. If he fires, he's a chance of chasing down Charlie. Yep. Nice. Especially if Charlie's kicking three ten <laughs> this week. Doesn't help. I'll smash you, stats boy, if there you kick three ten. Right. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on. Do it now. Do it. <laughs>